Welcome, welcome to Shekinah World. God is too faithful to fail. He's too powerful to fail. He is too merciful to fail. He is too wonderful to fail. And He will never fail you. Welcome to a new week in the land of the living. And let us bless the name of the Almighty God for our brother, uh, Moses Bliss. The song says, He is too faithful to fail. In the mighty name of Jesus, He will not fail you. And pray that you won't fail Him too. Therefore, Almighty God, we thank you for the fresh manna that you have released upon our life. Thank you for the illumination of your word. Your word will be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to say that the word, the word of God is restorative. The word, the word of God can restore you and I. And the word of God is curative. The word of God can cure every disease. And the word of God is potent. Okay? And whatever God sends his word to, it has to fulfill whatever the goal or the mission is. Amen, somebody. So I will start with the Genesis 1 verse 2. It says, uh, Genesis 1 verse 2 reveals that before the creative power of God's word came into action, the head was shapeless. The head was empty and chaotic. However, when the omnipotent power of the world was released, the head took good shape. Beloved, per adventure your, your life, you know, was in, it was in shambles or shapeless, the Lord will restore your life tonight. And your life will take a new, a new shape. Your life will take a new dimension. Amen? So, if your life is in despair, because it was, you know, uh, shapeless and void. Tonight, there is restoration in the house. There is curative power and restoration power of Jesus in the house. And it will work for you in the name of Jesus. But you must allow his word to, to operate in your life. Amen. When God commanded that there should be light, light came into being. Okay? Light came into being, and that light, no devil, no darkness could, you know, comprehend it. So, uh, those who live by God's word do not live in darkness, because Jesus is the word of God, and also the light of the world that we are talking about. So, if you allow Jesus to come into your life, every emptiness, every shapeless will, 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 will give way in the name of Jesus. So you cannot live in darkness any longer because you are the light of God. A child of an elephant is an elephant. You are a child of the lion of the tribe of Judah. So you are a lion. So the word of God should be powerful in your life. Amen. So if you allow God's word in the person of Jesus to dwell in you, you will have great testimonies like the one Peter had. Remember, Peter was a fisherman. He, 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 he fished all night. He did not catch any fish. But you know what he did? He allowed the controller of the universe, the person of Jesus, to encounter him. When Jesus encountered Peter, his life never remained the same. Let me read this to you. As a fisherman, Peter labored all through the night without catching any fish. But when he allowed Jesus into his boat... He allowed the Prince of Peace, the controller of the universe, the controller of the seas, the controller of the heaven and the earth, into, into his boat. Okay? And, and what happened? Peter, Peter got a net-breaking, net-breaking fish <laughs> and boat sinking catch. Why? Because he allowed the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the Prince of Peace, he allowed him into his life. Amen. So it is indeed God who gives power to get wealth. And this power is in his word, according to the book of Deuteronomy 8, 18. Please read it at your own time because of our time. Okay? Because it says, it is the Lord who gives us to, to, to have money, power, wealth. 
Amen. So uh, the light that God, you know, God's word gives us is available to anyone who is groping or who is seeking and who wants to know to know God. Okay. And someone who wants to run from darkness to God's light. And the, the door is open. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He is calling on you tonight. He wants you to come to him. He wants you to come back. No matter what your sin was, Jesus is ready to cleanse you. And he will cleanse you in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, darkness is harmful. And darkness cannot stay where the light of God is. And you are called to be the light of God. Amen. So, I want you to say to ask God to the word of God to illuminate your life tonight so you will no more stumble in the name of Jesus and your life will, will, will change you'll be transformed and you will fulfill your destiny amen somebody beloved let the word of, of word let the word of God be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path amen beloved I want you to embrace the infallible word of God today and it will do you good. It will do you well. And the word of God will enter your life. You know, according to Psalm 119 verse, verse 30, it says, The entrance of thy word giveth light, and it giveth understanding to the simple. Be simple tonight. Be like a baby. Give your life to Jesus. Seek for him. He's ready and is willing to turn your life around in the name of Jesus. Receive the, the fresh manna tonight and your life will never remain the same follow the word of god follow the truth the way and the life jesus is the way follow the way he is the truth and he is the life and your life will never remain the same the light of god will shine upon your life and you will catch men and women for jesus amen so as i leave you i want to remind you that the word of God changes you. The word of God will restore you. The word of God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. So this is Shekinah word, divinely designed for you and I to discover, to recover. And concerning you, it shall be nothing but good news. You will discover, you will recover, and your life will never remain the same. Remember, fulfilling destiny is not an option for you and I. We must fulfill our destiny in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. I will see you some other time. Be safe and have a blessed week. Amen, somebody. God bless you.